Mina APC presidential rally, Tunubu rushed off stage due to health concerns. Campaign spokesman reacts. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel. APC presidential campaign spokesman Bayo Nanoga said the rumor that Tunubu was rushed off stage at a rally in Mina due to health concerns was not true. Onandega said that the old progressive Congress presidential candidate had to leave the rally early because he had other important programs to attend. It was gathered that the former Lagos State governor integrated his campaign office in Mina after leaving the rally. The old progressive Congress APC has debunked the rumors that its presidential candidate Asiwaji Bola Ahmed Tunubu was rushed off the stage at his rally in Mina Majesty due to health concerns. Bayo Onanuga, the director of Media and Publicity, the All Progressive Congress Presidential Campaign Council said this in a statement shared on Tunubu Shetim official campaign website. Mena APC Presidential Rally, why Tunubu left early? On Nanaga said Tunubu left the rally early on Wednesday, December 14th to attend to other programs of the day. According to the campaign spokesman, the crowd that turned up to welcome Tunubu at the rally was so massive that the former governor of Lagos State had to address them briefly. The statement read in part. The crowd was so huge that Tenbo spoke briefly to appreciate supporters and identify the party candidates seeking elective positions. Contrary to the rumors that he was rushed, rushed off stage because of health concerns, Tenbo called it shut to attend to other programs of the day. He commended the party supporters for coming out in mass to witness the flag off of the presidential campaign. We are Tenable went after leaving the rally early, or Nanaga reveals. According to the statement, Tenable inaugurated his campaign office in Mina after leaving the rally. News gathered that the office was donated by the Blueprint newspaper publisher and chairman strategic communications of the Asiwaji Bola Tenable Presidential Campaign Council, PCC, Alhaji Mohammed Idris Malagi. Tenable also visited the Emir of Mina and was later hosted in the luncheon organized by the governor of Niger State, Abu Bakr Bello. You don't win, you don't win supporters tell Tunubu in Niger State. Earlier, news reported that a mammoth crowd of supporters converged on the trade for complex MENA, venue of the All Progressive Congress Presidential Campaign Rally in Niger State on Wednesday, December 14th, to receive Tunubu. A statement signed by Tunubu Media Office Sunday Roman and sent to Legit.ng indicates the electrifying crowd was too excited to see Tunubu shortly after arriving in Mina, where he also attended a town hall meeting with farmers and agro-community traders. The shout of Asiwaju, you don't win, you don't win, do not see anything, rented the air at the ho at the rally. Okay, um, so they say them, they're always coming out to defend this man. And the thing is, I don't have a problem with them coming out to defend him, but I have a problem in him not coming out for once to defend himself. Do you understand? You're always speaking for him. He's, he's, he's not a baby now. You're talking about a full-fledged old man, somebody who is a grandpa. That is who we're talking about. Do you understand? So I don't know why they're not allowing him to defend himself. The thing is, they're shielding him a lot, and I do not know why. Okay, Obi and Atiko did not have anything to say again. Via is rushing to hospital. Oh, yeah. You people are just wasting this time. This Baba is the next president. See Kaduna rally after all. See the NTA channel TV. Still talk another story. And how did you come up with the existing is Obi and Atiko? <laughs> you just came up with Obi and Atiko. <laughs> okay, people are pushing this man to die before his time. Shame made them not to leave him for his medication, trying to prove that he's healthy. Have you seen the results? My dear C, enough of this man is ill, is not ill. See you, anybody will say no will help himself. See, even, even, even Bible talk, I'm saying, heaven help those who help themselves. You understand? That when you try to do something, now you go help yourself. So if this man said he's free, he's, um, he's okay, no problem. You can go and campaign him. My brother is another, it's another agenda to have Shetima replace him, but they will all feel willful. And that is what a lot of people are coming out to see. 
And you know what? They're not even coming out to say irony. That is why people are missed. People are convinced. I have a good number of people who are convinced that a vote for Tunubu is a vote for Shetima. They are convinced. They have the opinion that even the, the Muslim Muslim ticket and of APC and the the Atiku Okawa ticket, that both of them are the same thing. This one is a Nautana replacing a Nautana here. And this one is also a, a Muslim Muslim ticket. None of them is better. You know that time you say one of the lesser evil. None is lesser here. None. Hmm. Okay. Program send you off campaign. People should stop deceiving us. We cannot gamble again. We need strong and a healthy person this time. Nigeria have too much problem to solve. You don't need to see it. Saying it sometimes. It became, these people have refused to give us reasons why he's not coming out. So I don't think we should give them any reasons. That is why I'm saying keep your grievances. Keep it. Do you understand? Keep it on that election day. Then you can now go and do what? You can go and vote your conscience. That is it. They have, they have refused to come out and sell and you know allow this man to talk to us. Say no problem. We too. On that day we too. We will have, we will keep, you know, acting as if okay, we have heard them. On election day you vote your conscience. Okay. Hello my people, let's say the truth. Look at this man. Tony is not healthy to rule his family. Talk of Nigeria. The world of Nigeria problem. Please vote wisely. At this point, you are saying this thing how do I, when we have screamed it out, we have shouted it from the rooftop, we have done a lot of things concerning it. We have we have written it boldly everywhere. So at this point, oh God, it is good that you said it too. But the thing is, will he listen? That's the million dollar question. Will they listen? <laughs> okay. Um you want to bring a sick man to preside over the affairs of this country. God forbid but Now, it might be that he was not rushing to hospital or whatever. But my own is, when will he be tired and come out to even say, Okay, well, make I even come talk to him now. See where I go. You know, they ask him question, he answer. That's my own million dollar question. The most senseless people in the world are the Igbos. They are the most unfortunate tribe in Nigeria. <laughs> Over what in that? The, the person that wrote say it is actually the South Isana that say he's not okay. <laughs> oh, wow. But I pray you leave till election day, but please do not make people push you around. In case if you cannot make it, drop your ambition because of the health. It is very important. So don't place his ambition far above before his health. Not only God now go save us for this country. We have to save ourselves, Sha. We have to do the needful by making sure we'll vote for the person who is healthy and who has convinced, who has truly convinced that this person will make Nigeria a better country. All right, on this note, you have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for telling me to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of your day.